All right, guys, we're going to talk about two different topics uh, in today's video here. We're going to update you on the rejuvenation pruning um, that we did on this Col de Nam Blanc that you guys are looking at. If you recall, we did a video uh, sometime in the early, early summer, late spring, uh, where we took my oldest, one of my most mature trees, my Col de Nam Blanc, that was in a 15-gallon size pot. Um, it had been defoliated. It didn't produce well. It dropped most of the fruits. Um, overall, it was really underperforming um, this year. So I thought, well, this would be a really great time to do some rejuvenation pruning. And we had pruned it. You can see actually made a cut right there with the saw. And then we planted it here in the ground uh, among my other fig trees on the west side of the property. And um, you can tell by looking at it, it's really not doing all that great. However, um, it did put out a shoot after I had pruned it. Um, it took a while, it took about, really took about two months. And the reason why it took so long is because the soil here, um, when I planted a 15 gallon size pot, I really needed to water it in well. Um, the soil was already kind of dry here in this location because we had the, uh, the low tunnel set up. We also didn't have much rain this year at all. It's actually really dry right now. So it's, it's not doing well right now because again, it is once again dry. Um, and therefore, if I touch the soil and dig around there, the roots of this cold and on Blanc are just not, they're not loving life. And therefore, I wouldn't be surprised actually, I just caught this today that th if this shoot here would probably die back and probably get killed and I'd have to wait till next year to get another shoot uh, from this tree to then restart this uh, rejuvenation process but in all honesty this is not what I want this is see this growth here this is from the wood that currently exists what I really want is new growth from the roots from below the soil and what that will do is get me a really, really healthy shoot from the base. And you can see with a lot of these trees that I have planted here, guys, a lot of them ha were or are suckers. You know, they were shoots that came from below the soil. You know, if I zoom in here, and you can just tell, obviously, how healthy the majority of this growth is that comes from below the soil. And that is really why I've been um, recommending rejuvenation pruning for so long. But it's not a guarantee to work, you know. Um, because I had rejuvenation pruned my Col de Nam Blanc, we gave it a good chance at a future. It's not guaranteed, but if we can get ourselves a, a shoot from, the, from below the soil, a sucker, as what I like to call them, a sucker is kind of just a shoot from below the soil or from the roots, particularly that's very, very healthy. Um, and if you can't sort of get that, you're only getting a new shoot from, well, from growth that is already currently existing that's not very healthy, then you're only just perpetuating the growth that's not healthy, right? So that's kind of what I'm getting at here is that it just didn't work out for us this time around, but it's not a lost cause which I'll get to in a minute. This is a Planera, which we first did the uh, rejuvenation pruning technique on. And this one we did not this, this year of 2020, but of 2019, I believe. Uh, after realizing sometime in June it wasn't going to fruit, I pruned it back and it sent up a shoot from the base. In fact, a very healthy shoot from the base and the technique worked. It grew really nicely that year. However, we had uh, some really cold temperatures that came in, knocked that tree back a little bit, which isn't the end of the world because what ended up happening was it, it did take some cold damage and had to recover once again this year. But as you just saw, actually it's putting out some fruit. It's very healthy. I mean, a lot of my trees don't look that great right now because we are almost at frost. I mean, a lot of them, I stopped watering at this point. Um, you know, a lot of them are just not loving life right now. 
uh, they're kind of going into hibernation. But when the tree was actively growing, when the trees were doing their thing, it was very healthy. Um, and I would consider Planera basically a success story. Uh, we still have to really observe, obviously, what that tree is going to do in the future. But for the most part, I, I would say that's a pretty darn good job of the technique. And that's a, you know, a case in which this technique worked. I'll give you another example of how it didn't work because some of these trees, these are all my really experimental varieties, guys. These are the varieties that we, we just sort of acquired. We're getting to know them. We're getting to understand what they're about. And um, we're trying to get them established and, and trying to get them healthy. Um, so what we did to a lot of these trees is that we either rooted them this year or we had them um, overwintered as small trees. And we took those very small trees and we rejuvenation pruned them. In fact, one I have here actually singled out. Um, and the reason I singled this tree out is very simply because it was getting shaded and it wasn't doing all that well, I noticed. So I brought it out here. This one's called uh, Grease Olivet. I've had this for a couple years now that I've rooted from cutting. And it just is not loving life. So what I did was I rejuvenation pruned it. Um, I actually took it back quite a bit. Um, at the beginning of this season, and you can see I made a cut right there and it put out its new growth and it's still really not that healthy. It's still really not doing all that well which to me means that we really need to get this, this new growth from below the soil, from a sucker, from the roots. So what I'm gonna have to do is because this really, this technique didn't succeed all that well, I'm gonna have to do this process again in the spring, um, this upcoming spring in 2021. So it's just not uh, a technique here, guys, that I think will work every single time but it is a technique that I think has huge benefits for um, getting our varieties established, healthy, and then because they're healthy, actually being representative of what the genetics of this variety should say this variety should do. Uh, really shaking the virus, the fig mosaic virus, I think, and getting ourselves an established healthy tree. Uh, without a doubt, um, if you were to propagate, let's say, 10 hardy Chicagos, you took 10 cuttings all off of the same tree, you propagated them from cutting, and you rooted all 10 of them, um, I would say at least 4 out of the 10, maybe 4 out of the 10, um, would just not be great growers. They wouldn't be great representations of what the mother tree does and is capable of. Um, until you can get them some nice suckers from the base to get that wood established nice and healthy, um, some of those trees just will not be a good representation. It's, it's just a fact. So when you're rooting these different varieties and you have, let's say, only two or three cuttings, it's not always a guarantee, I think, that you're going to have uh, a good representation of that variety, especially depending on the mother tree that it came from, right? So cuttings taken, let's say, from my Col de Don Blanc probably are not going to be all that healthy from somebody else who has a supremely healthy Col de Don Blanc, you know, um, which to my knowledge doesn't really exist all that much. So the point is, is that um, we have to really focus on from the beginning, I think, getting these guys established and healthy so that they can be a good representation so that we as growers can actually make informed, intelligent um, observations on the varieties that we're actually experimenting with. Because if, again, if we're not, we don't even have the, you know, this is an unhealthy tree and I'm taking observations from this unhealthy tree, they're gonna mostly be inaccurate. And they have been in inaccurate for me in the past. And I've learned that over the years now of trialing these different varieties you get to understand, well, 